good afternoon, good morning, um, everyone. Uh, we appreciate the time uh, this afternoon that you are spending with us uh, to learn more about our Starship Cloud product. Um, as you all are aware, um, our ship gear product that you all have been using um, for however many years now um, is going to be sunset in uh, December of 2023. Um, so hopefully uh, Starship Cloud will meet all of those needs and more. Uh, and today we're going to go through a quick uh, presentation and demo. Uh, we're going to leave as much time at the end for questions. So again, as Megan said, please leave those in the question pane for us uh, and we will do our best to address them. We do have quite a few uh, customers on today's webinar. So uh, we're going to get through the content as fast as possible and we'll be following up with you uh, after the webinar as well. Um, I'm also joined by Jason Ferguson, who's our account executive for our QuickBooks um, Enterprise users, uh, as well as Will Oliver, who's our account manager um, in this space. And both of them will uh, be uh, joining me and helping follow up uh, to answer all of those questions you may have as well. So um, if you hear from them, um, that's who they are um, after this call. All right, um, so let's get started. Um, and so just so everyone knows who V Technologies is, you're all customers of ours today. Um, so for if you don't know Starship or never heard of Starship in the past, um, Starship actually came around in 1989. So it was our flagship product for over 30 years now. Um, it's a, you know, obviously a multi-carrier solution and we'll go into more details on that. Um, but Starship also has well over um, uh, 10,000 customers approximately over the 30 years in, in, in doing business. So uh, again, we have uh, quite a few customers using this product today. Uh, and obviously we've been with the QuickBooks team uh, really since the year 2002. So over 20 years experience um, integrating to directly in the QuickBooks enterprise uh, here as well. <clears throat> so I'd just like to talk about some main features uh, of Starship. Um, so really um, for all of you who are using ShipGear today with the World Ship application or FedEx Ship Manager applications, um, obviously those are pulling in header level detail. It's a very basic integration that we uh, offer uh, with those carrier supplied platforms. However, there's four really key features when we start talking about Starship and where it can help you and grow and streamline things for you. Uh, one of those, obviously, is our multi-carrier strategy. Uh, a lot of customers I speak to, um, I know for the rest of my team that speak to ShipGear users, we often find times that you're just not using UPS or FedEx. You might be using other carriers such as post office or maybe even LTL carriers as well, shipping pallets. Um, so again, when we look at Starship, we kind of look at all of those um, opportunities to bring everything together in one application for you. Uh, so you can do all your rate shopping, all of your document printing, uh, and getting that all back into QuickBooks. We also look in helping with the rate shop feature built in the Starship, which you'll see here in a few minutes, um, we can help reduce some freight spend. Um, so being having access to all of your carrier rates in one place versus going to separate platforms um, allows you to reduce that freight spend in choosing the right uh, carrier for that, uh, to, uh, that ship in your processing uh, for that given day. Um, we also provide you with discounted postage rates for post office. Um, so that's another way we can help reduce some freight spend um, is by showing you, hey, this is what priority mail or first class mail may look like comparing to shipping a residential shipment with UPS. Um, so that's another way to help save, save some money using our application. Oftentimes we find that QuickBooks users are using some sort of e-commerce platform as well. Um, so, you know, things like Amazon, Shopify, WooCommerce, you name them. Um, we integrate, which you'll see here in a, in a few minutes as well, some uh, logos. Of different shopping carts and marketplaces that we can also help you uh, integrate to um, where we can get tracking numbers back directly into the shopping cart along with QuickBooks or maybe even just direct into the shopping cart as well for you. Um, so again we have a lot of uh, neat features to kind of talk about and help you with your e-commerce shipping uh, because a lot of users we talk to are manually doing that today. They might be using some other application maybe paying an extra fee for that. Um, so again Starship can help Kind of take all that in and streamline that process for you as well. And then lastly, kind of just simple, simplifying your paperwork, right? Um, so a lot of times we talk to customers are shipping domestic labels, which is great, but oftentimes we find that they're shipping international where they need commercial invoices, um, they need a bill of lading for LTL because they have some pallets going out the door. They're also shipping hazardous products, so they need some hazmat, hazmat paperwork to be processed. So all of these things um, can be done in Starship today. Uh, and the reason for that is because we do pull in all the line items from QuickBooks, which you'll see here as well in the demo. Um, and basically uh, that allows us to store key data 
in Starship so that way you can basically process um, the proper paperwork for the type of shipment that you're doing. And we can talk more about that if those needs do exist in your company. We can definitely show you a, a demo more involved with that type of uh, uh, workflow for you. So I do get a lot of questions um, over the last uh, six, seven years I've been with V-Technologies, um, especially from QuickBooks users um, that are sort of migrating from Shipgear to Starship or just calling about Starship in general, right? Um, so really just some things to know with migrating to Starship Cloud. Um, number one, um, the main thing that we get a lot of is the Starship work with Worldship, right? And the answer is no, we will re be replacing Worldship we replace Ship Manager, any carrier supplied platform, essentially Starship would replace. You would just log into your Starship browser um, every day, process all your carrier labels, all of those tracking numbers, freight costs, all of that will be sent back in QuickBooks in, in real time for you. So again, you don't need to worry about um, <clears throat> using those carrier applications any longer. Uh, the other one here is QuickBooks Enterprise um, in the server, where the server is um, hosted. Um, most customers will have it locally, right, on a server in-house. Um, others use QuickBooks hosting, known as Right Networks, um, or others use private hosting um, firms out there as well. Um, just one thing to note here, if you're local hosted, no problem. We can do, uh, Starship can integrate without any issues. Um, if you are using Right Networks, uh, which is often supplied by QuickBooks, um, Starship does not integrate with right networks. Um, it's a shared environment. It's not uh, something you should probably be using just because you're leaving yourself susceptible to a lot of viruses. Um, and we've seen this with other companies, unfortunately, happen. Um, so again, uh, we often require customers to use private hosting environments where it's a private dedicated server. Um, some I named here for you that might be familiar to you. Fishbowl Hosted Solutions is one. Go to my ERP, Nubay. Um, there's plenty other ones out there um, as well that you can tie into. Um, but as long as it's a private network, we can pretty much um, utilize that network and have Starship integrate to your QuickBooks environment. Um, QuickBooks Enterprise Desktop will be able to connect uh, to Starship Cloud via online connector. Um, so because we get this question asked a lot about because Enterprise is a on-premise edition or on-premise platform, um, Starship Cloud does utilize an online connector on each workstation printing shipping documents so that way we can make that company connection to your QuickBooks company and that allows that connection to occur so and orders can come in, orders can be processed and tracking information and freight costs can be written back. Um, also because you're talking about a cloud edition um, of Starship being a multi-tenant application, you essentially can log in from anywhere in the world um, utilizing a Chrome browser. Um, there's no more need for a VPN or a remote desktop needed here, um, so which is kind of neat. Um, so again, log in, you can see reports, you can see a full dashboard, which I'll review with you here in a few minutes. Um, so you can really get an idea of what's going on in your shipping environment, um, really anytime you're traveling or might be um, you know, out of the office or for any reason, you can definitely do that with the Cloud Edition here. And then lastly here, ability to rate shop your parcel and also LTL shipments all in one platform kind of reiterating that, kind of streamlining that process for you as well. So you don't have to go to separate websites or other portals that you might be using. Why convert, right? So another common question we do get asked a lot, why do I want to go to Starship Cloud, right? So the main reason here, reducing IT expenses. Uh, with WorldShip, Ship Manager, um, there's all the upgrades that you have to maintain on an annual basis. Um, ship your server has to be upgraded along with those platforms. So you essentially have three upgrades to run if you're using both carriers today. All those updates are automatic going forward. Um, you don't need to worry about upgrading Starship any longer, right? There's no server to be upgraded, right? The server is running in our Microsoft Azure environment. Um, so anytime that we release updates on a quarterly basis, um, those happen automatically overnight. You come in, in the morning and you log in like nothing's ever happened um, and you're on the latest edition of Starship. Um, we're always on the latest version, as I just mentioned. Um, we also have access to unlimited users and also all carrier interfaces. So as you're about to see here in a minute, um, Starship does support 25 different carriers today, roughly, um, between LTL and Parcel. Um, so you'll have access to all of those app, um, carrier applications. If you decide to use them in the future or not, they will be there uh, with a click of a button uh, to be added at any point in time. Um, so again, that's the neat part of the cloud edition where, you know, um, whereas our old on-prem edition, 
you'd have individual modules to be purchased. That is no longer the case here. Uh, manage seasonality. You have a lot of seasonality shippers, and I'm sure there's some on the call today with us um, that kind of have the ability to up their plan as needed when they get busy in peak season, and then bring their plan back down as needed when we go into off peak. Um, so again, you are in full control, just like any online subscription of your own pricing at any given time. So you can play with those different levels as needed. Um, so you, again, are in full control of your pricing throughout the year. And then restricting access to users. This is a big one from a security standpoint, right? You don't want everybody having administrative rights, right? Where they can change plans, they can add users. You wanna give access to users for specific roles or permissions. Um, so this is one important feature in the cloud edition that we made where an admin can, or multiple admins can give access to users uh, for specific um, permissions that they can access. Maybe it's shipping only, maybe it's a report generation, uh, whatever it might be, but you have full control on that and what your users can do. This is the list of all the carriers Starship in Starship's lineup today. Um, so if you are using any of these carriers today, we essentially can help you with your rate shopping. Uh, we can help generate your bill of ladings. Uh, we can do tendering um, with LTL carriers in Starship, meaning basically dispatching trailers potentially. Um, we do have some 3PLs like Worldwide Express is on here. Some people may be familiar with them. Freight View is another one. Um, so again, a lot of these carriers, a lot of customers will use. Uh, we also support collect shipping or third party shipping with LTL uh, where we utilize a bill of lading module. Um, and we also use that bill of lading module for any carriers we don't support via API today. Uh, to generate that bill of lading and also a pro number potentially to get back into QuickBooks for you if you like. So again, there is options for those carriers. So if you do have a carrier that's not on this list, don't think we can't help you. We potentially can in a different manner. We can talk offline about that as well. And then this is the list of different shopping carts and marketplaces we support today. So again, we support the major ones on here, the main four that we get asked a lot about or five, I should say, Amazon, Shopify, Magento's, WooCommerce, BigCommerce. Um, we get asked a lot of those uh, from a lot of customers about those integrations. But if you are using any of these other ones, uh, we can help you get those uh, tracking numbers and status updates uh, in those as well. And before I go into a demo here quickly with all of you, um, so you will all be receiving, and I know I've spoken to some of you already about it um, and made mention of it, uh, but on October 1st of uh, this year, um, ship gear's pricing will be increasing. Um, so the ship gear pricing that you currently see on the left is what you all are paying of some sort, uh, one of these uh, four plans. Uh, the new pricing is off to the right um, of what those plans will be increasing to. Um, there are reasons for the increase, obviously. The main reason is cost, right? Uh, maintaining these servers, uh, making sure they're running efficiently. Um, obviously the pricing hasn't been updated uh, in recent years, uh, but also right now the costs are kind of astronomical for us to maintain the servers. That's why cloud has become, become so relevant for us uh, in kind of keeping those costs down. Uh, but you'll see um, here that um, there is some promotions that uh, we are offering for all of you uh, to jump on board with the Starship Cloud Edition. Um, so that way you can save potentially, a lot of you may save over what ship gear's pricing is gonna be coming in October. Um, so again, you, you'll see all that um, as we talk to you with the pricing um, that we're offering. All right, so let me jump into a uh, quick demo here for everyone so you can see what the product looks like. Um, and then we will uh, open it up to some questions. So um, Starship, um, as I said, is a cloud-based application. So everyone, um, when you do sign up for Starship, you will have your dedicated tenant. Um, your URL that's dedicated to your company. Um, that is what's up here in the browser. You'll log in and essentially you'll come to what we call our home screen in Starship. Um, the home screen will show all of the available orders that are essentially ready to be processed. Um, and the reason for that, uh, or the reason I say processed is because we do have a custom field in QuickBooks um, called Starship Ship Status um, that you could utilize. And then what we do is we update that field with the word processed into it when we write back. So it's kind of a neat little feature, and that allows us to remove it from this uh, lookup window for you. Um, so as long as you have this filter set like I have up here, um, it will remove that as you ship your orders out throughout the day. Just like ShipGear, um, as you all know, you do have your little lookup window here uh, in which you basically can type in, you can scan in an order number, um, hit enter, just like you do in ShipGear, 
and that order will populate up for you automatically. Um, you do have the ability of adding as many filters across the top and you can filter on any one of these columns um, as, uh, as an option as well. Or you can go over here to the right and basically click any one of these icons, these little truck icons, and pull in the order that way as well. So you have some options, however you like to do it. And I should also mention as this loads, uh, we do support different document types. So if you are using sales orders, sales invoices, or sales receipts, um, those are all supported and they all work the exact same way from what I'm about to show you here. Um, so there's nothing to be concerned on uh, depending if you're using an invoice or not. Um, so again, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my order in here. Um, all of the information is gonna populate into one screen here for you. The first thing that you're gonna see if you have it turned on is our address validation that's built into Starship. We do utilize the post office on the back end to validate that these addresses are correct or not. Um, so you'll see up here in the upper right corner, kind of grayed out right now, it's a little red X. This box is gonna pop up for you with some validated addresses. And it's up to you as a user to use one of these selected options, or you can go ahead and use original. So I'm just gonna go ahead for the demo purpose, use this one here. You'll see that we've uh, turned this from red X to a green checkbox. We do validate the street and zip code. And then we take it a step further, validating a residential versus commercial for you as well. So in this case, this is a residential shipment. It's gonna tack on a residential surcharge with UPS in this case. So you're aware of that. You can bring that um, cost back into QuickBooks so you can invoice that properly back to your customer. This section is just your sender information here for you, um, just defaulting to you. If you are drop shipping, we do support drop shipments as far as leaving your building and you know disguising the label or bill lading to show a different address if you prefer. Um, and we can get into that in a more private demo and kind of walk through those uh, setup processes there. Um, <clears throat> transportation is just basically bringing in um, the value translation from QuickBooks. So your ship via is mapped to this section. I had a map coming in UPS ground. It's gonna default it to your account number. If you are billing third party, we do support third party um, IDs in Starship. Um, so essentially what you would have is a drop down here um, where we can basically um, map in an account number from QuickBooks, or we can also store account numbers in the Starship database. So we can populate this account number field for you automatically. That's another nice feature of Starship where you don't have to type in that manually each time um, like you may do today. So that's that um, section here. Um, the shipment details are just really just some options for carriers. This is a live um, uh, page here. So anytime you change carriers, it will update to the carrier options. So insurance will be in this section here. Any of these can be auto selected for you. So things like insurance um, can be selected based on value of items coming in. So you may want that to be auto selected over a certain value. You have the option of checking it automatically or manually as well and basically giving it a value on, on its own. So either one is up to you there. Quantum View, FedEx Insight are all supported in here. We do use Quantum View Notify for exceptions only uh, because the ship and delivery notifications do uh, come out of our e-notify tool, which I'd be happy to show you here at the end, um, where you can personalize your messaging going out to your customer. But the exceptions are really the packages that get lost, damaged, delayed um, during transit. Those are gonna come directly from the carrier you do have five email addresses here that you can store in Starship. You can also map in from QuickBooks, whatever you prefer to do there. And then one of the um, features you don't have today with ship gear is really the line items and the packaging element, right? So again, you have header level detail, but with Starship, you now get all of your line items coming in from your order from QuickBooks. So my order here, I had basically a couple items I placed into a box. Um, Starship does um, have a setting where you can default all items into a box. You can easily add cartons on the fly here. Um, as long as you have a weight here, you can go ahead and ship it. Dimensions are not required, highly recommended. As we all know, dimensional weight is applicable. Um, that's where you're gonna see this column here change if that was the case. It's reading your dim divisor behind the scenes and showing you what the, app, the buildable weight will be for rate coding down below. If for any reason you want to move items around in different boxes, um, you can easily do that as well by just dragging and dropping. Again, you don't need to do that. The only time this is really a requirement, really two reasons. One, if you wanna create a packing list per box or the other item or the other reason would be if you're processing EDI orders um, where you need to define items to boxes, the quantities, things like that, then it will be a requirement for you to make sure that each box has item, at least one item in it um, otherwise, Starship will throw an error at you. Okay, 
And then last in this section here, we do have a full packaging database where you can uh, import all your box sizes, pallets, whatever you like to do, um, or you can use custom packaging and type those on the fly as well. Um, either way is fine. And then here um, is basically just mappings from QuickBooks that we bring in right in this section. So again, you're not gonna have to come into this at all. It's just thoroughly mappings where we store that key data information like your HTS codes for international, LTL where we save the NMFC codes in class. All of that is done here in this section. But again, it's saved the first time and you don't really come into this section really at all. And then the last step before we ship and process is really just your um, total charges. Um, so here we have basically three sets of rates. I'm actually hiding one right now called publish, um, but the contracted rate is your negotiated rate. And then the applied rates are taking advantage of any freight rules. So in this case, you'll see here, if I open this up for you, um, you'll see I have a 10% markup that I'm gonna send back to QuickBooks. So I'm gonna charge my customer in this case, $140. Um, and hopefully that UPS bill when I get it is under $140. So I don't lose any money on freight um, for this particular shipment. Um, freight rules are becoming very, very popular for a lot of customers because we know shipping costs are all over the place. Um, so we're trying to make sure that the rules are set properly and the rules can be set by customer. They can be set, you can have one rule for everyone um, or different rules with additional um, uh, handling fees on top of it. Um, whatever you like it to be, we can help you customize those rules so we make sure they're set correctly for your customer. And then the last step in the, in, in the main feature of Starship here is that rate shop that you all heard about. Um, really, you have this little button here that you can click. You also have a rule that you can set as well where it will basically find your least expensive option there. But again, once you hit this little button, it's gonna call out to each API in your license uh, or API that you have the carriers for and then pull back those negotiated rates for you so it can display them in one screen so you don't have to go out again to four or five different portals and pull those rates in. So again, you're gonna see that all list here, kind of lowest to highest. I'm sorting on my contracted rates here, right? So you'll see in this case, I have UPS coming in second in line, um, five business days, right? We return the business days as well. Um, but FedEx is about $6 cheaper roughly for me to ship it. Um, and you can see my priority mail rate is gonna get there two days faster, but it's gonna cost me about another $40 roughly, maybe just shy of $40 to get it there two days quicker. So there's some decisions to be made here. One thing to note is that if you are shipping LTL and parcel, you will see LTL carriers provided to you in case if you think it might be uh, safer to ship it that way, maybe cheaper in some options, um, but you do have that um, ability to see all your LTL and parcel rates together. If you do need to change the carrier for any reason, it's a click of a box here and it would change it to your FedEx account and you can ship out your FedEx labels in this case versus UPS. So this is the quick way around it. You don't need to bring the order back in. You don't need to go to another portal any longer. It's all right in front of you at your fingertips. One of the other popular questions since I'm here, we get a lot from a lot of UPS shippers. Do you support ground freight pricing? The answer is yes, it is right here. Um, so you do have, if that's part of your agreement, you will see that service part of the UPS lineup. Um, so again, you have all of those options as you do today with UPS. And then I'm gonna go ahead and ship and process. You can see basically what the write back looks like in QuickBooks. And then I'll just take into a couple other tools in Starship and then we'll open it up for some questions here. Um, so again, the label's gonna print, um, your tracking numbers are gonna be sent back, all of your freight costs are gonna be um, generated as well um, into QuickBooks. And so I'm gonna open up QuickBooks now for you so you can see what that looks like as this finishes processing. All right, so my labels are printed. And now what you're gonna see in this particular order Right here, I have all the information, the carrier I used, how many packages shipped, my tracking numbers associated to each box. And then the other thing I can put in here is line items. So this is again, again becoming popular. They, you know, if someone wants to come in here and see what's been shipped in each box, they can. We can put in dimensions or box weights, whatever you prefer. All of that information is here for you. You do have your applied rates over here, that $140 I mentioned earlier. And then there's that word processed in a custom field inside of QuickBooks. So it just removes it from that lookup window in Starship for you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and so here you have basically our dashboard. Um, so our dashboard here, um, basically you're gonna get access to this part of your licensing with Starship. Um, this is really cool. We give you probably a lot more information that you're probably gonna be needing or wanting. 
Um, but again, here you have a full heat map. The heat map is essentially just a distribution map of all your shipments across the country. The red dots are just the hot areas, grays, greens are kind of where you're fading or just growing your volume in those areas. But this is helpful for negotiation with your carriers, where you're shipping to, expansion, where do we open up another location. Um, so again, just helpful in those areas. Also sales and marketing people get together. How do we tap into new markets, right? We're not shipping anything into this area, right? How do we get product into that area? That's where it can open up some new um, uh, revenue uh, for you as well. You can always drill into any one of these widgets where you can add as many filters as you like. Some customers like to see all of their parcel carriers versus LTL shipments in this map. It's up to you how you wanna basically set this up on your side. And then same thing here, you have access to all of these charts out of the box. So things like total bot, total shipments, packages, et cetera, right? All of this is here for you as well. Same concept here. You can drill in, you can make changes. I wanna see my past three month trend on package volume here. You know, on the dashboard, you can basically change these on the fly. These are very high level for you. Um, so you basically can um, get an idea of trends and what's going on in the shipping department. If you need to drill in, again, you have access to all of our reports um, in here as well. So you things like address correction, the applied versus contracted rate is a popular one, what you're charging your customer versus uh, anything else. Also any freight shipment details, international details, parcel shipment details, et cetera. All of that is in here for you, you know, to view and see what's available. Um, so again, we give you a lot of information for a deeper dive. These reports are all accessible in PDF or Excel. Um, so for any meetings you may have, they can be all run out of Starship. And then really quick, I just wanna show you a quick email that you can have generated for email notification as well, right? So in here, you can basically generate anything you like. Um, so in this case here, I'm just gonna show you a quick example of one. This will open up for me. Um, so again, here's basically one that we could do with UPS, right? So you can put your logos if you like, content, the PO number, sales order number, you name it, right? To be on the lookout for UPS, when to expect delivery by, and then giving them their tracking numbers that are hyperlinked so they can go out to the UPS site by just clicking it and that they can track on their own what was inside of each shipment, maybe a coupon code for a future order, right? Anything of that nature you can do here along with attached documents as well. So anything Starship produces like labels, the ladings, et cetera, or anything internal to you as well can be attached to these emails that go out. Again, thank you very much and we'll talk to you soon.